Hi friends, welcome back to the third part of Web Development Basics series. Uh, well, if you haven't watched my previous videos, then please watch them and come back here. So let's begin. In this tutorial, we are going to learn MySQL as I have uh, promised in my previous video that I'll be exploring a bit of uh, MySQL. Not the advanced ones, but uh, you know, the most basic one. Uh, so let's begin with the database table uh, representation. Uh, here, I've taken this picture from uh, uh, the ebook that I've mentioned in my first video. Well, uh, the one you can see over here is a, a representation of a table inside the database. Well, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so uh, a database application such as MySQL can have, you know, a different set of databases and databases in turn can hold different set of uh, tables and tables are the ones which which hold a set of information related to a particular uh, you know stuff like if you if you want to hold a set of informations like uh, like storing usernames and passwords a set of usernames and passwords then you can make a table call it login and uh, you know hold information regarding all your login details like uh, here you can see a table can have columns and rows right uh, every new information that is fed into a table is taken into a new row that is inserted in, as a new row inside a table, right? So uh, a table can have different set of columns, you know, in our case we can have ID, username and password. The ID is for unique identification of different entries. I hope that you have uh, got a basic idea about the data representation in uh, MySQL. So let's begin with interacting with mysql console for that all you have to do is start your vamp server here you can see vamp server has started and wait it till it turns green uh, once it's yeah it's turned green now you can start your mysql console over here going from uh, going to mysql clicking over there and then moving on to mysql console so here it's it's asking for a password uh, you know the default password is null so you can simply hit enter to log in you know to get the terminal so here we go we got the terminal uh, you can call it prompt to get a list of databases that are present inside this application just type show databases and terminate it with a semicolon and hit enter right you can get see the list of uh, databases that are present inside this application well uh, for in your case it may be different uh, you might have a test database instead of blog uh, that is because uh, all of uh, the databases uh, such as information schema test mysql for performance underscore schema are uh, the default ones i have uh, dropped that is i have deleted the test database and uh, i've created a new database that is blog uh, you know that will be the, the one we are using for our uh, case like we are we are going to make a blog right so you know we are going to drop it again that is we are going to delete it again and uh, we are going to start from the first case right so to drop a database all you have to do is type drop database and name of the database that is block and terminate it with the semicolon and hit enter right query okay that means the you know your command has been successfully um, completed right so once you have done you can uh, do a quick show databases again to get the list of databases that are present right here you can see there is no uh, blog here there is no database blog over here so uh, that's how it works uh, you know now you have learned to drop a database let's move on to creating a database right uh, to create a database all you have to do is use create command that it's just a query create database and name of the database uh, let's name it anything like uh, blog again right and terminate it with a semicolon and hit enter you can see the query OK again and uh, do a quick uh, show databases again to get the list of databases that are present. Ha as you can see, blog is present over here. So uh, it's back again. If you want to start interacting with that particular database, all you have to do is uh, type use and uh, name of the database. All right. That means you are going to interact with that thing. And uh, don't forget to terminate it with uh, semicolon. You know, that's must. So the database is changed. You can start interacting with your database. So if you want to check out the tables that are present inside this database, then you have to do is type show tables, right? And terminate it again with a semicolon and hit enter. 
as you can see it says empty set that's because there are no tables inside this particular database and uh, now we are going to uh, you know insert some tables so that it can hold some set of information such as our login details right let's do it uh, with uh, create table not table name uh, let it, let it be login you know name of the table open a parenthesis um, so here you have to provide the set of columns and uh, you know the information about the columns details about the columns uh, so that uh, you know the tables should have some columns for them right so you must provide the names here so uh, I'm going to the next line uh, as you can see the arrow over here this one that means that uh, you know the command is not completed it's expecting a termination uh, unless you terminate it with a semicolon it won't execute the command instead it will give the prompt out again for the rest of the command for you to complete right I hope you're getting my point and if this is confusing don't worry uh, you can you know play back watch it again what I'm saying and uh, you can refer some material over uh, um, that uh, over the web that have uh, you know already mentioned the ebook it's a very good book you can refer that once more you know after the video so that you can understand it much more quickly all right so uh, you know the first column would be in our case is ID because that's what we expect uh, to be primary so it will be an uh, integer data type so just uh, you know we have to define it that it's integer so all you have to do is uh, type int to state that it is integer and uh, next you have to do is uh, you know you don't expect it to be null anytime so uh, you have to do is uh, type not null over here and uh, you can add your extra keys to it you know I want it to be an auto increment no auto increment is nothing but it just uh, increments every time a new data is inserted you know the user don't have to provide a pr uh, ID every time he you know inserts a data right so uh, let's do it uh, auto underscore increment and now we want it to be a primary key because it must be unique one right so uh, we need we need to make it primary right so we are just making it primary key you know put a comma over here that means that uh, we have uh, completed giving information regarding one particular uh, column move on to the next line and now we have to give the details for our next uh, column uh, let's make it username right and uh, let it be text all right uh, that's all we wanted for this column let's move on to now password you know for the time being let let it be text again and uh, complete it you know close it with uh, parenthesis and uh, a termination right uh, if you want to set a default character set then you can uh, you know provide the information between the parenthesis and uh, uh, the termination over here the place where I've put the space right but uh, I don't need it in this case because we are gonna just make a simple uh, blog and uh, you know it, it won't be a full polished one but uh, I just uh, I'm just making this to just make you explain how this thing works right so just uh, hit enter and you can see it query okay and uh, now you can do a quick show tables to check the tables that are present inside uh, you know this particular database so as you can see there is login if you want to check the details of that particular table then all you have to do is uh, type describe login terminate it with the semicolon again otherwise it will uh, you know prompt up again for uh, your next thing you know next uh, rest of the command uh, so as you can see you have three fields over here three columns and the first one is int and the other two are text the first one cannot be null whereas other two can be the first one has a primary key and by default there are null values for all of them and uh, you know there is an extra key auto increment for uh, the field id right hope that you're getting my tutorial i know that this tutorial is getting a bit lengthier so uh, i'll just finish it over here and uh, we'll continue in the next video thanks for watching please do like subscribe and uh, comment your views because those numbers really count for me and uh, that's what gets me doing better videos for you thank you so much bye bye